Assalamualaikum and very good evening everyone <coughs> Not, I, Now I will explain about the second law of thermodynamics <coughs> Before we learn the second law of thermodynamics We should already learn the first law of the thermodynamics Why? Because this is a, um, Because a process cannot cannot occur when When it satisfies both the first law and second law of thermodynamics <coughs> <coughs> Alright then, uh, the use of the second law of thermodynamics is not limited to identify, identifying the direction of process. Second law also shows that energy has quality and as well as quantity. <coughs> and from this diagram, we can assume that uh, we can uh, imagine that uh, first law and second law is like a electric circuit. <coughs> this process must satisfy both first law and second law of thermo to proceed. <coughs> okay. Uh, we done here. And at, uh, the next one is thermal energy reservoir. <coughs> thermal energy reservoir is a hypothetical body with a relative re relatively large thermal energy capacity. Mass time specific heat. <coughs> Uh, example of the reservoir is uh, atmosphere, ocean, lakes, and river. And river. <coughs> uh, there is uh, two types of thermal energy reservoir. There is uh, thermal energy source that is uh, give out uh, heat and thermal thermal energy sink that is uh, absorb heat. Sorry. Okay. This is uh, a type of uh, <coughs> thermal energy reservoir. Okay, then I will explain about the heat engine. Heat engine is a device that can convert a uh, heat to work. There is a first step of uh, heat engine to proceed heat to proceed heat to, to convert heat into work. Uh, the first step is this is heat from a uh, high temperature, high temperature medium. Okay, 
Okay, under the heat engines, uh, there is a uh, steam power plant. From the diagram, we can see that <coughs> the energy source is can be <coughs> from the weather and second the system. And the condenser is uh, at where the energy is seen. <coughs> the energy source is such as, uh, like I said before, solar energy. And the energy sink is uh, such as a uh, river, atmosphere, and sea. And for the pump and the turbine, uh, pump is the where is the Now the pump is where the work is uh, in the system and the pump is uh, work for out of the system, okay? Work for this. <coughs> uh, the formula for this system is Efficiency is the, the fraction of heat input that is converted to net <coughs> work output.
the formula of the thermal efficiency. The thermal efficiency of heat engine always be less than unity. Refrigerators is uh, <coughs> we all know that uh, heat is transferred from high temperature uh, into to lower temperature. <coughs> uh, and uh, this diagram is show about the system in the refrigerator. Uh, <coughs> uh, condenser is uh, the surrounding medium, medium such as a uh, kitchen A and evaporator. The evaporator is uh, the refrigerated space, and this is uh, a special valve and compressor. Okay. <coughs> uh, uh, in this refrigerator, to calculate the refrigerator coefficient of performance or COP, there is a formula: COP R uh, equal to Q L over the V net in, or we can. Another equation, 1 over QH over QL minus 1. Now I will explain about the heat pump. Heat pump is uh, another, device, uh, another device that transfer heat from low temperature medium to high temperature medium. <coughs> As we know, refrigerators and heat pumps operate on the same cycle, but different in the object, object, objective. <laughs> uh, <coughs> The objective of the refrigerator is to maintain the refrigerated space at low, low temperature by removing heat from the refrigerator. And for the heat pumps, is maintain heated space at high temperature. Uh, the ability of heat pumps uh, can be accomplished by absorbing heat from l low temperature source, just like uh, uh, well water and cool air, cool outside air in winter season. <coughs> uh, now I will draw the diagram of the heat pump. From this diagram, you can know that uh, uh, the cool out of at for the four degree Celsius is will convert to will turn into warm warm indoors at three degree Celsius. This is uh, for the cool out cool out of four uh, degree Celsius is QL. We we refer it as a QL, and for the warm indoors uh, we refer it as at a QH. Uh, 
to calculate the performance of heat pump is almost expressed in coefficient of performance or COP HP. This is the formula for the COPHP and this formula we can <coughs> we can use uh, this relation implies can be This relation implies that coefficient of performance of heat pump is always greater than uh, unity since COPR is always positive, positive quantity. Okay. Now we will show the example of heat pump. Okay, uh, this example is uh, to determine the power consumed. Uh, from the uh, question, we can know that the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. QH uh, 8000 kJ per hour and C coefficient of performance of heat pump is 2.5. <coughs> to calculate the power consumed, we can use the this property. Uh, work uh, power consume 
and from this we can calculate the heat loss to the surrounding. Okay. From the answer, we can know that uh, heat loss is 40, 48,000 kilojoules per hour. <coughs> we can conclude that uh, there is, uh, there is high uh, quantity of heat loss. Okay. Uh, from the answer, we can know that there is high quantity of heat loss. Uh, from the answer, we can know that there is high quantity of heat loss. We can assume that uh, heat loss at the surrounding, such as a uh, pi by P. Now I will explain about the Clausius statement. <coughs> Clausius statement is it is uh, he said uh, it is impossible to construct a device that that operates in a cycle and produce no effect other than transfer of heat from lower temperature body to high temperature body. <coughs> Common knowledge that heat does not of its own volition flows from cool medium to warm one. <coughs> the cl Clausius statement does not imply that a cy cyclic device that transfer heat from cool medium to warm medium is impossible to construct. Okay, that is for the Clausius statement. <coughs> now I will go to the perpetual motion machine. Perpetual motion machine. For the first one is valid for first law. PMM of first kind, or you know, we can show you this uh, PMM1. And for the another one is valid uh, second law. PMM of second kind, PMM2. Okay? And after <coughs> perpetual motion machine, uh, we, we go on to the reversible and irreversible process. Without leaving any trace on surroundings. 
Okay. And for the another one, irreversible process is not reversible process. And now we show the reversible and irreversible process. The gram. Uh, these are for the reversible. Uh, there is uh, two diagram. Uh, there is expansion and compression process. <coughs> we can see that uh, from the diagram, the water uh, on the expansion is become deep, oh. and when for the compression, uh, it, the height of water is increased. <coughs> uh, for the irreversible process, irreversible process. Uh, we can see the difference between two again uh, for the expansion and compression. We can irreversible process also do, uh, as a, another name that is fast process. And for the reversible process, it's a slow process. Okay, done with the reversible and irreversible process. We will go on to the turn out cycle. Okay. Cycle is a reversible cycle composed of four reversible process, two isothermal and two adiabatic. Uh, it states that uh, thermal of efficiency of the all reversible heat engine operating between the same two reservoirs are uh, same, and no heat engine is more efficient than a reversible one. Okay, uh, the process for cycle is. Said, uh, before there is uh, two isothermal and two adiabatic. The first one is isothermal heat addition, and the second one is adiabatic expansion. And next one is isothermal heat rejection, and last one is adiabatic compression. Uh, <coughs> in thermal cycle test, so a uh, formula to calculate the thermal efficiency.
Greetings are the equipped formula for the COP of Lucas Barrel, Fugitives and Kit Packs. And maybe this is the last one of my lesson because I didn't have uh, enough time. Like my lecturer said, if you want to know better in thermodynamics, you have to find yourself. Okay? Okay, thank you. I'm from class. <laughs>